Okay, so today I'm going to demonstrate how to terminate our CAT 6A 4-pair FTP cable, clearly stating it's a B2CA Euro class, which means it's a higher grade than the minimum recommended standards for BS6701. I'm going to show terminating that onto our shielded category 6A keystone jack, which comes with three elements, the jack itself, the cap or collar that goes on the end of the cable, and a piece of copper tape to hold the drain wire in place. And we're going to end up with something like this. We can clearly see a clip inside the keystone there, which makes contact with the copper tape at all times, so that when this cable is being maneuvered by the installer into either a faceplate or a panel, there's never any chance that we're going to lose contact between uh, the shield and the actual connector itself. Now, I'm going to do the process, not at the speed an installer would do it, but a little bit slower so we can see what's happening. So we're going to start off with the cable, and I'm going to take about 30 to 40 millimeters of sheath off. That's all I really need. Okay, and I'm left with an overall foil. A pull cord, which we're not going to use, so I'm going to cut that off. I want to remove the overall foil. And I'm left with four pairs, each inside its own alum aluminium foil and a drain wire. So the first thing I'm going to do on this occasion is deal with the drain wire. The drain wire has given us our earth continuity. So I'm going to get the piece of tape that we had earlier with our outlet, and I'm going to fix the tape to the side of the sheath underneath the drain wire, but then I'm going to wrap the tape around so that we sandwich the drain wire inside the copper. Okay, so we've got the copper against the sheath and the drain wire is sandwiched between two layers of copper. And I'm going to chop off the excess drain wire. Okay, so that's that part sorted. Now I need to take my individual pairs and remove the foil from the individual pairs. I'm now left with my cable, my drain wire is dealt with, and I've got my four pairs of cable. So I then want to get my cap, which goes on this way. And if I look at my color code, the blues and browns are obviously self-explanatory, but we do have the A and the B for the TSB terminating designations on the side. Obviously we're using TSB 568B, so we end up with a brown opposite a green and a blue opposite an orange. Okay, I'm going to put the cap over the cables. So it's just resting on the end. And then I'm going to form the cables into the relevant sides. Then going to put the cables into the grooves inside the cap. As you can see, you don't really need to chop off that much cable at all when you're stripping back the sheath. I think we've got plenty to play with here. Once we have these cables in place, we can use our side cutters once we're happy with it, trim them to length, flush with the body of the cap, And it's quite important that they are flush. Double check that we're happy with everything. Then we get our jack. There is an arrow on the jack. 
and there's also arrows on the side of the cap itself so it'll only fit one way we push them in place don't need much pressure at all and then the two sides to the jack just push into place and that's it finished a terminated cat 6a keystone onto an f ftp cable